Howdy guys, I'm Auto Edits Jason, and we are finally out with the first test in tune on the Auto Edits Jeep. We're gonna put all the new goodies to work today. Find out what works, how we did, and see what it does. Let's get going. Okay, first order of business is to unlock the lock and load because we can. And you know, it's the first time we've actually done this in the wild. So let's see what happens. So allegedly you just undo the jam nut and let's proceed to lock it, unlock the lock and load. And what that does simply speaking is that it just now we'll release this spring inside this arm here to let this control arm, this is what's called a radius arm style suspension, since it has this one point of contact to the frame and then it splits out here to the axle. So it now will let the axle articulate a little bit more. And this is the handy dandy tool that comes with it that I just let sit in the glove box in the center console. Let's try it there. We'll just lock that nut into place. Let me just show, show you. See down inside here now, you could actually see there's a, there's a gap. So that spring is now preloaded to whatever magic the engineers at Metacloak decided that that needs to have, but they'll, that will let this articulate and add that forward and rear motion there as the axle goes up through its suspension. Let's just see how it does. So even setting up the GoPro, that took all of about three minutes to do. So not a big impact on your day of wheeling. Let's wheel. All right, so first up, we're just kind of sending up this little, uh, I don't know what you call this, whooped out little climb here and just let it articulate. This is just, we're gonna ease into the testing here. Let's find out what rubs, how it articulates. We're gonna just leave it not locked up and that way we'll find out it's a good way to test from the driver's seat if the tires are staying on the ground or not. If I just get one spinning, then we know not, but let's just send it through here. Let it see what the Jeep does. <laughs> it feels fairly remarkable. Holy mackerel. Okay, I didn't even expect that. Holy. So that little climb just went ridiculously easy. I didn't hear any tire rub. I didn't hear any weird pops or bangs or anything like that. Um, I say we send it to the one next to it. It's got some rocks involved. Let's try that and see how it does in that one. But first off, first test out of the gate, that, those are deep. That's a serious little bit of uh, articulation that I'm stoked at. It just did its thing. Okay, gonna have to recalibrate here. All right, so I'm gonna send it down these other little loops, just see what it does. And I am super duper impressed with this thing so far. Very, very pleased. You know, you expect some growing pains, but wow, that was a, that was a good start. Let's uh, let's go across here. with this thing so far. Wow. That's all I keep saying. I'm gonna have a, a game on how many times I say wow. And I hope it's a lot because so far this is great. All right, so the assessment so far is that 
Everything seems to be working pretty good and the steering is just very forgiving so far. You know, we haven't really put it through any tough rocks yet. We're just having some fun getting used to it. All right, just for poops and giggles, let's just cross up over here and climb up the cement part while we're on this side of the park, just to see. Let's put our tires into some bad spots and let it do some work. And look at that, it just does. It just hunkers in. Absolutely loving this. Okay, recalibration in process. I say we go run this little uh, sluice over here and just do rocks for like, I think it's like 50, 100 feet and see how it does over there. That'll be a good test to that, but right out of the bat, articulation, next level good. Wow. she does let's crawl through here let it uh, kind of find its way through there's a couple little sections that are kind of tight so we'll sneak through <laughs> Woo. Definitely, this is that excuse for a steering upgrade. Oh, on the list. Whoa. Unbelievable. It's gonna take me a second to put into words what just happened. Again, this is all about this recalibration of what the Jeep is capable of, what I'm capable of doing in the Jeep because remember, I haven't done any real serious off-roading in a year, year plus, since the before times. Whoa, this thing is kicking butt right now. Right out of the garage, test and tune, baby. Holy mackerel. I can't wait to watch the footage of the lock and load up there doing its job. I'm not good enough to know or feel and say, oh, I can feel the axle, axle, axle articulation up there. I'm not even gonna front. I met a guy out here, uh, Noel, Noel, who uh, is out here just practicing from Bakersfield. Hey dude, if you watch this, just give a shout in the comments. Good to meet you today. We're just out, we're just jeepers. We like to come out, stretch our legs, test, tune, learn, 
And that's what I'm doing, and it's going so dang good. I was a little nervous, you know? Same thing as, if you guys watch Joe's, the Joe's Jeep video, same thing, you know? Like, you do a big install, and it's a little nerve-wracking. You're like, did, is this gonna hold? Did I do this right? Are these settings gonna work? All right, let's climb this little ledge here. This one right here is gonna need a little Moab bump practice, and that's kind of part of the whole drill out here. Okay, let's see if we can one-shot this. Oh gosh. <laughs> I thought that would be like a thing, but it wasn't a thing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So far, my thoughts are really uh, reeling right now on uh, how good things really are going. Um, I can't wait to now just grow my skill set. It feels like there's a whole new world that has just opened up to what this thing's capable of. Um, obviously, you know, somebody who I, I look up to on in, in her wheeling and her journey through this is uh, Mischief Maker Holly. She's, her motto is seat time over everything, and that's absolutely true. Just not being in the seat doing this has proven to really back me up in skill set, confident wise, and all that. And so this little bit of training and practice, test and tune, has done wonders. I mean, wow, I love it. Um, this has been great. Goals now to go do more of this. Let's go find something else to go test. I don't think I have anything for that line right there, but even this right here is new to me, trying to do the math on how to get some up some of these awkward ledges here. So I'm gonna practice a line where I sneak up through here, kind of get a tire, get my tire placement and really practice uh, getting up through this thing. So this will be a fun one. Training, good training, especially since the Jeep is running so good. I just can't believe this so far. Wow, like seriously. Here, let's go in and check this out. It's looking pretty good. All right, so this obstacle is really confusing to me because I don't see all these angles. So this is a really good one to practice to kind of figure out how to pick a good line. So we'll let the Jeep do some work and teach me what I need to do. Well, darn it. I thought that was gonna be <laughs> way more of a challenge. Huh, this whole Jeep recalibration thing is proving to be awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So there you have it, a very successful test drive. And we did it with no drama. The thing worked perfect. I have a ton of calibration and learning left to do and lots of world to explore. Yeah, seat time, more seat time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, enjoy your drive. Woo! <laughs>